Is your Rheem tankless water heater refusing to power on? The most common culprit is a power supply problem. We'll guide you through the essential troubleshooting steps to get your unit running again. First, check your circuit breaker to ensure it hasn't tripped. This is the most common cause of power issues. Look for any breakers that are in the middle position or have switched to the off position. Next, inspect the fuses and replace any that are blown. A blown fuse will have a broken filament visible through the glass body or may show signs of discoloration or damage. Use a multimeter to confirm the heater is receiving the correct voltage, typically 120 vakes at 60 Hz for ream tankless models. Inadequate voltage will prevent the unit from operating properly. Examine the wiring for any loose connections or damage. Look for signs of corrosion, burned wires, or connections that may have come loose over time. Damaged wiring can prevent proper power delivery. Test the outlet with another appliance to rule out outlet failure. Sometimes, the problem isn't with the water heater itself, but with the electrical outlet providing power to the unit. If you see error code 00 on the display, this indicates a power option or power supply problem, confirming that you should focus on these power-related components we've just covered. By systematically checking these power-related components, circuit breakers, fuses, voltage, wiring, and outlets, you can identify and resolve most power issues with your Rheem tankless water heater. When basic power supply checks don't resolve the issue, we need to examine other potential causes. These advanced troubleshooting steps will help identify and fix more complex problems with your Rheem tankless water heater. For gas models, the first advanced check is ensuring proper gas supply. The gas valve must be fully open and unobstructed. Next, check your propane tank fuel level. A low or empty tank is a common cause of power issues that's often overlooked. If your unit is stuck in maintenance mode, you can exit it using a specific button sequence. Hold the up and down arrow button simultaneously, then press the power button. System overload occurs when too many hot water fixtures run simultaneously. Turn off extra fixtures and reset the water heater to resolve this issue. To properly reset your Rheem tankless water heater, turn off power at the circuit breaker, wait exactly 10 seconds, then restore power. This clears temporary faults and reinitializes the system. Insufficient water flow can prevent the heater from activating. Clean the cold water inlet filter to ensure proper flow. A clogged filter is a common but easily fixable problem. If problems persist, the issue may be a faulty PCB controller or remote control problems. The PCB is the brain of your water heater and failure requires professional replacement. Remember, safety is paramount when troubleshooting. Always turn off power and gas supply before performing any checks. If you're uncomfortable with any procedure or problems persist, contact a qualified technician immediately.